Calisthenics can be an extremely strenuous activity for the wrist joints. Consequently, wrist pain is a common complaint among bodyweight athletes. In this video, I'll be taking you through a wrist warm up routine, teaching wrist strengthening exercises, and giving some key tips to help you avoid wrist injury. Before discussing a wrist conditioning routine, it's useful to have an understanding of some basic movement terminology. The four main movements that occur at the wrist are flexion, which is bending the wrist toward the palm, extension, which is bending the wrist in the other direction, ulnar deviation, where the hand bends toward the little finger, and radial deviation, where the hand bends toward the thumb. I'll be referring to these movements throughout this video. To reduce the risk of injury in training, it's important to warm up. When training is stressful on the wrists, special attention should be given to this joint. The purpose of the warm up is to prepare relevant joints and muscles for training rather than to fatigue them. Fatiguing muscles in the warm up will hinder performance in your training session and potentially increase injury risk. For this reason, I like to ensure that my wrist warm up is purposeful, to the point, and stops well shy of failure. As the handstand, muscle up, and planche require good wrist mobility, I like to start my warm up with some range of motion exercises. Start with an active range warm up, circling the wrists for 10 repetitions in each direction. If you have stiff wrists, or restricted range of movement, you can work on this with some loaded mobilization exercises after the active range warm up. However, if you have reserves in mobility for the training to follow, there's no need to perform stretches or loaded mobilizations in the warm up. To mobilize the wrists into extension, start on your hands and knees with the fingers facing forward and gently rock in and out of a stretch for 30 to 60 seconds. You can also rotate the hands and manipulate the angle of rocking to incorporate ulnar and radial deviation. Many like to do this by rocking side to side while rotating the hands from back to front. Mobilizing into radial deviation in combination with extension is useful prior to planche training as the wrists require good mobility into this position as you lean forward with the hands turned out. To mobilize into flexion, turn the hands over and rock in and out of a stretch for 30 to 60 seconds. This can be useful prior to muscle ups as flexion range is important for the false grip. To address ulnar and radial deviation specifically, you can form fists, and gently rock in and out of these positions for 30 to 60 seconds. This will help both mobilize these movements under load and warm up the associated musculature as it works to stabilize the wrists throughout range. None of these exercises should cause pain. So perform each movement until feeling a mild stretch, but ensure you stop short of pain. Following the range of motion warm up. Perform some wrist push ups to help get blood flowing to the wrist flexors and extensors and further warm up the wrist stabilizers. Start on your hands and knees and perform 10 push ups onto your knuckles, then do the same on the back of your hands. Adjust how much weight is through your hands so you feel the muscles working but don't become fatigued. At this point, you should feel ready to start your sessions, and by incorporating these exercises into your warm up, your wrists will be better prepared to support and control your body weight. This will also provide a mild stimulus for strength gains, and therefore more resilient wrists over time. For an extra wrist strengthening stimulus, add one to two sets of the warm up wrist strengthening exercises at a higher intensity at the end of your training sessions. For example, 
you may do wrist push-ups on your knees in the warm-up and on your feet at the end of training. If you'd like some variety, fingertip push-ups, towel chin-ups, and sledgehammer or dumbbell resisted wrist movements are all great wrist strengthening exercises. You can include a few of these for one to two sets of 10 repetitions at the end of your sessions. With regards to injury prevention in calisthenics, often the warm up routine is adequate and no additional specific wrist training is necessary. This is because time on the hands during training is a significant stimulus for wrist strength gains in itself. And as you progress with your training and ability, your wrists will naturally get stronger. Now let's talk about why many athletes training calisthenics encounter wrist injuries. The human body has a remarkable ability to adapt to stress when this is applied progressively and gradually. This principle forms the foundation of strength training and this is how we make gains with calisthenics exercises. However, when changes in stress are too sudden or extreme, this can exceed your ability to adapt and result in injury. As our wrists are not naturally accustomed to supporting our full body weight, introducing new body weight exercises or suddenly increasing training volume can lead to a dramatic rise in load through this joint. The body has a limited capacity to recover, and when the load exceeds this capacity over a long enough period, overuse injuries can ensue. For this reason, it's important to gradually increase the volume of time on your hands and stress through the wrists to ensure the body can adapt to it. Painful positions should be avoided and exercises should be modified if necessary to achieve this. For example, if handstands and planche cause wrist pain, you can perform your handstand training on a declined board or parallettes and your planche training on angled parallettes to avoid extreme ranges of motion and pain. No wrist warm-up, prehab, or alleged bulletproofing routine can make up for poor load management. In fact, such routines can cause harm in certain circumstances. For example, if your current training load is close to the limit of what your body can recover from, adding strenuous wrist exercises to bulletproof them can tip you over the edge and cause an overuse injury. Keep in mind that strength and mobility gains take time. Be patient and consistent, and with an intelligent approach, you'll be able to build resilient wrists over time.